after the anniversary of the Iraq war came up. But then there was this rather odd um, uh, development um, regarding the Governor-General and his link with that. Like, it started with Tony Abbott writing, I think, unnecessarily to the Prime Minister insisting that they not make an appointment for the next Governor-General until after the election. And then what happened then was there some... Uh, it was a Labor tactic to throw John Howard's name into the into the ring? Well, yeah. Like, I think this whole thing was kind of shadow boxing in the dark, right? So Tony Abbott writes to the government, says, don't appoint people that are supposed to be appointed on my watch. And I, it was a generic letter. So it wasn't just about the Governor-General. And there were... He was a bit upset that other appointments, like the Reserve Bank Governor and I think ASIC and some other appointments had been made. So it was a, a, a general sort of warning letter. Um, Labor then started to say that... He wanted to appoint John Howard. The only person I've actually seen suggest John Howard's name was Godwin Gretsch, and I don't think the Liberal Party are taking advice from him. But then, but then um, the 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 uh, Labor Party was sort of suggesting that you know Tony Abbott was you know had different motives as well. So I think the whole thing was just so a secret really. plan to get John Howard up as Governor General. I think. Well, no, just a huge, it. it's a huge beat up, and I'm surprised that anyone in the media ran it. Uh, Tony Abbott has no intention of appointing. John Howard of Abbott becomes Prime Minister in September and I That's would a pity. and I would very much <laughs> doubt I would very much doubt that if an offer were made, which it won't be, it would mm. be accepted. I don't think John Howard wants to become Governor General. Why would he? You like the idea, Mike. Oh, oh absolutely. An anachronism for an anachronism. You know? <laughs> I mean, and, and furthermore, it would it would get the Republican movement going again. I would think having John Howard as, as Governor General, well, we'd, we'd actually get some constitutional reform happening. Maybe it would, I think I think it would be a wonderful way of looking well, at a wonderful catalyst. It's sneering, Mr. Seckham, again this morning. I mean, John Howard is <laughs> no, an anachronism. It was, hum I mean, it was humor, Jerry. Ah, it was John humor. Howard's the, <coughs> one of the most successful prime ministers, in my view, along with Bob Hawke, Australia's had. Mm. And it the idea that successful. a governor general has anything to do with constitutional change, I mean. Even in a joke, uh, that doesn't really work, does it? I mean, well, what governor general has well, ever influenced constitutional change in Australian history? I mean, I mean, as in the role of governor general. I mean, as in oh, as in as in constitutional as in change. Stamping someone as in constitutional change to have a president or something else other than a governor general was what well, I mean. Well, that's not going to. Right, we'll go back to where we started joke, now on schools oh. policy.